this will be a little bit more breadth about uh, my work at Penn and a little bit about me. So um, I'm an alum and uh, I graduated in uh, 20, oh, last summer. So, um, and all of my uh, work at Penn was really had to do with correlating nanoscale uh, structure and dynamics in polymer electrolytes. So I'm a material scientist through and through. I got, I got my start at Carnegie Mellon and then I worked with Karen Whiney for five years here at Penn. Uh, where I worked on single ion conducting polymers for batteries and uh, proton exchange membranes. And I'm very fortunate that React pretty much funded my entire PhD. Um, and I worked on ACT3 for energy generation and storage. And when I was in Grenoble in the summer of 2018, I had the privilege of working with Patrice, uh, Lionel, and um, Manuel. And Manuel, I see you're on. So hello, it's nice to see you. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> and now I started last summer as a postdoc at MIT with uh, Yang Xiaohorn, still working on electrolytes and energy storage. Um, so a real quick overview of some of the key, key work that I did related to React here at Penn. I really worked on materials related to proton transport and cation transport. And this is just a very brief overview of, of my work. And I think um, some of the key, key things are the fact that I looked at systems like this polymer here, where we examined the dynamics of how protons move through swollen aggregates and proton exchange membranes. I also looked at layered um, layered structures and crystalline polyethylenes that allowed for anhydrous proton transport. And then with the idea that how can we make proton exchange membranes alternative to what exists today. And then on the other side, I looked at cation transport in a variety of materials to try to improve um, cation transport in single ion conducting polymers and understand the mechanisms behind that. So this includes looking at decoupled cation transport and percolated aggregates and polymers, and then um, these are my last two products that I actually just uh, wrapped up and submitted both of these in the last couple of weeks. So <laughs> looking forward to having, having some closure on those. So these systems looked at uh, cation transport through layered aggregates um, in crystalline polyethylene, similar to this proton transport product. And then this product here looked at uh, blend single ion conducting polymer electrolytes and showing superionic lithium transport. So I'm more than happy to discuss some of these products in more detail. Um, uh, offline or for the ones that are published, you can take a look at these papers. But um, this is kind of a key summary of what I what I did at Penn. And I was very fortunate to have some great collaborators, not only at Chernobyl, but some great synthetic chemist collaborators, Justin Kenimer at Florida State, uh, Stefan Mecking and at Constance, and then Amelie Frischneck and Mark Stevens, who did a lot of computational work. So um, as a part of React, you know, this is really just a huge collaborative effort. And um, I'm very interested in continuing work on energy storage, which is what I'm up to today. Um, so I, as I mentioned briefly, I work with uh, Yang Xiaohorn um, at, in the research lab of electronics at MIT, where I'm a postdoc, and I'm still trying to answer the questions, you know, how can we achieve decoupled ion transport and polymer, and now I'm working on liquid electrolytes as well, and really understanding what are the mechanisms involved in um, improving these electrolytes. And so I do look at different material systems, but I'm applying a lot of what I learned as a React fellow, as a PhD student here at Penn, using some of the same techniques to really correlate these nanostructure and with dynamics to improve these electrolytes. And then what's next for me? Well, later this fall, winter, I'll probably be applying for faculty positions. So I'll be on the market for that. <laughs> so, and really I think uh, my experience with React and just at Penn in general has really shaped my research interests and has given me a lot of experience in collaboration. So I'm very grateful for that. And I definitely think it's helped make me into the researcher I am today. 